he leadeth me beside the still waters he restored my soul the moment god begins to lead you everything becomes still the turbulence is an alarm system that you are on your own if you allow him to lead you everything will become still waters and when he leads you three things will happen number one you will find pastor because god leads to the pasture look at first kings chapter 17 verse 1 to 7 in a season of drought there was no rain there was no water anywhere but suddenly god began to lead elijah he said and elijah the teachbite who was of the inhabitants of gilead said unto Ahab, as the lord god of israel liveth before whom i stand there shall be no dew nor rain these years but according to my word and the word of the lord came to him saying get thee hence and turn if not elijah himself would have died the reason elijah survived the drought was because after he spoke he connected to the leading of god he said turn thee hence eastward hide yourself by the brook chariot that is before jordan do you see specifications and specificities and it shall be that thou shalt drink of the brook and i have commanded a raven to feed thee there the provisions of god are consistent with his leading if God is not leading you, you will have no provision. The pasture is at the end of the leading of God. And so when you find men struggling in drought, it's because the leadership of God ended a long time ago. Number four, David told us, he never departs from the presence. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I erred from your living, your leading, but I didn't depart from your presence. He said, I shall fear no evil. He said, for thou art with me. I fear no evil, for thou art with me. So even in the valley of the shadow of death, the man succeeded because the presence was there. What is the glory of the presence? Psalm 91 from verse 1 to 9. See what the Bible said. You will see how men survive, succeed and excel. Don't make the mistake of assuming people are making impact because they are lucky. It's deception. I can assure you that people making impact are fighting more battles. The reason they are surviving and succeeding is because of what they carry. He said, he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. He said, I will see of the Lord. He is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in him will I trust. He says, surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. So you are not winning over the noisome pestilence. You are being delivered from it. There's an invincible oppression there that is beyond even your own senses. He says, he shall cover thee with his feathers. Under his wings shall thou trust. He said, His truth shall be thy shield and thy buckler. He said, Thou shalt not be afraid of the terror by night, nor of the arrow that flyeth by day, nor of the pestilence that walketh in darkness. Are you seeing the things you are battling with? There is terror by night. There is arrow by day. There is pestilence that waste, walk, walketh in darkness. And there is destruction that wasted in noonday. Sometimes you just go to a, a mall to buy something and a, a a a foolish person who is brainwashed comes with bomb and explodes the place even him doesn't know why the reason you will not be where destruction wasted in noonday is because there's a spirit ordering your steps so you drove to that place you wanted to come down from the car to enter the supermarket but something held you there and you are in that car for one second and the bomb is detonated there are many cars you would have entered that some assorted on the road but when you stood up from the house you wanted to go the spirit of god drew your attention back you entered your room spent another five minutes and went on the journey you came they say ah this bus just filled the last person entered it's not because god doesn't love that one that one is not led and that ball that car some assault and you are traveling your own passes and you you yourself knows that that is supposed to be my grave the difference between life and death was that whisper and david said it's a secret for invincible living 
He said, a thousand. Are you seeing it? A thousand shall fall by thy side. Ten thousand by thy right hand. The reason you don't fear, you know that there is a divine precision that is superior to analysis. I just know, unless I fall out of his leading, there's no way I can fall. See, don't, don't allow fear enter your heart. Just make sure you hold on to God. If you are following God, a thousand may fall by your side. Ten thousand by your right hand. Don't say, see what thing they happen to us. No. Those people may be led by their emotions. They may be led by their appetites. You are being led by a spirit that precision is a second name. He knows how to carry you through the death of 11,000 people. And only you will stand. He said, nothing shall by any means come nigh thee. Only with thy eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. But why is all of this thing happening? Because of the presence. He said, because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high, thy habitation. So the key to invincible living is to make the most high your habitation. And how does it happen? It's in verse 1. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the most high. So it's a conscious thing. You are the one who tarries there. You stay there. You remain there. There are many Christians who have joined the fast movement of our age. This is called the Gen Z generation. Where everything is a speed. It's on high speed. And everybody think everything must be at that supersonic rate. Not when you are dealing with God. You must learn to wait. If you want to carry the presence.